Hello, you're listening to the Never Fab Deluxe Daily, and here is our theme tune, which um is happy, happy, da 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 da. That's right, that's our theme tune to uh, get you pumped for today's show. Uh, of course, maybe it's getting your pump for tomorrow's show. It was that um, energetic and that exciting for you. I know it was. Uh, it was sexual for me. Uh, you know, most of the show is sexual for me. You know, usually I have one hand on the soundboard and, <laughs> and the other hand. Well, you don't want to know. Um, well, maybe you do. You know, for legal reasons. Uh, today's topic is why do you want to recover? Uh, of course, asking you the crazed porn act, being like, ah, what? Well, well, what do I do, Reed? What do I do? Well, um. Uh, well, I, I guess that's for you to decide, but before then, we have The Checkup. The Checkup! The Checkup! Ba-da-da-da! Uh, yes, uh, today's checkup, as with every single checkup, uh, you know, Daddy Reed, Daddy Dr. Reed, uh, not an actual doctor, but, you know, we can pretend, kind of like when you were, like, in grade one, and it's like you're pretending to be, like, the mum and the dad, and, of course, uh, your actual dad comes and beats you because you're doing what's uh, considered feminine. Uh, but you know what? They're memories that we want to rep- repress, um, so um, that's, that didn't happen. Although I did, I remember I was like... Gee, I would have been like six or something, and I remember dressing up as a girl, and my dad caught me. He was not happy. Um, anyway, that's a little personal note there. The checkup, how are you coping with life? Uh, life, of course, this grand, grand scheme of, uh, you know, eating and, and shitting and that kind of thing. Are you doing well? You know, have you been maintaining your mental balance? Have you been focusing on your awareness? Uh, you know, what are you doing to uh, keep on top of things? And, of course, uh, in order to do that, you know, meditation is important for helping you develop that awareness and balance so you don't become a crazed gunman. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, so that's who you don't want to become because, uh, you know, they're crazy. Uh, instead, you want to be happy. No, that's where's the kids cheering? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Yes. Uh, that's how we do it. Uh, yeah, did you exercise? Exercise is going to help you get those strong, healthy bones, kind of like drinking milk. Although apparently that's a fallacy. Apparently they add calcium to milk because of, you know, they like heat it to these high temperatures. It destroys everything. Um, is that a conspiracy theory? I don't know. Um, but coming at you with the facts, um, read facts, uh, fact approved. Uh, so, yeah, so exercise, uh, obviously you should be doing that daily. Um, or, you know, maybe every third day, I don't know, but everyone has their own routine, um, that, you know, helps us, helps you, helps everyone. Cause you know, you don't want to be like, oh, this person's dying cause they're fat or whatever. It's like, no, you know, you like, you like get on the treadmill, get all hot and stuff. Of course, you know, I just sort of just said a bunch of sort of related words, hoping that, you know, would form into a coherent s- sentence. It didn't work. Didn't work. Uh, um, uh, what are you going to do differently? as well, is an important thing uh, for you to consider because, uh, you know, if you're not happy with your life, well, you know, next best thing is to change it. Uh, Of course, throw it out, throw it out in the trash, uh, get a new one, you know, new family, new, obviously you can't do that, but, you know, you can start doing things that maybe you've been putting off. Uh, Maybe there's something you've really been wanting to learn or really been wanting to do, Uh, you know, go do it, have some fun. Uh, So that was, that was the checkup, Uh, which brings us to Everyone's uh, favourite topic. The topic, that's right. The topic. The topic. Awkward flow there. Didn't really uh, quite make that work. We'll make it work next episode. Uh, So today's topic is why do you want to recover? Uh, You know, it's it's a personal question. There is no right or wrong answer. We all have our reasons why we're doing this, why we're committing to it. You know, maybe, uh, you know, it was like a dare or a bet. Your friend was like, huh, let's see how you do it. And then you realize, well, actually, this is a genuine problem. And, and now you're taking it seriously. Uh, you know, maybe you're just all about self-improvement. And, you know, in my case, it was very much, this was the last thing I couldn't hack. You know, I could do it. Like, I was weightlifting. I was eating healthy. I was doing cold showers every day. Like, I was doing everything humanly possible, but I just could not, I could not crack porn addiction. Uh, eventually I figured out in the end, it was all about, you know, developing awareness and focusing on your mental health. Um, cause you know, you can be exercising frequently and you can be, you know, doing cold showers and stuff and have terrible mental health. Uh, and that made me realize that mental health is very much its own thing, um, that you need to focus on. 
Um, and, you know, I think that's, you know, where a lot of people go wrong is I tell them, well, I ask them, hey, listen, so what are you doing for your mental health? You know, mental health is so important. And they tell me stuff like, well, you know, I like to read books. Um, I like to exercise. And, like, those things are great. They're healthy coping mechanisms. But they've got nothing to do with mental health. Oh, well, it's not that they don't have anything to do with mental health, but it doesn't have anything directly to do with developing awareness, um, which is so very important for identifying behaviors. Uh, so you can change them and, you know, do different things. So it's like, oh, okay, peaking is going to make me feel bad. Let's not peak. That's what awareness is. Um, of course, you know, other things to be aware of. You know, maybe um, you like to edge uh, all sorts of things, all sorts of uh, sort of behaviours which lead us to eventually watching porn, which we need to avoid, avoid, avoid the porn, avoid the porn. Um, so that was my desperate porn avoider uh, character, uh, you know, making his first appearance on the show. Um, so, yeah, I thought I'd uh, cover a few of the reasons. Um, you know, a lot of people, um, the reason why, uh, you know, they watch porn in the, home, the first place is because to escape the suffering um and the dependency of addiction. Sorry, that made no sense. <laughs> what I meant to say is that the reason why people want to um, give up is uh, give up. Uh, sorry, to recover is because they want to escape the suffering uh, and the dependency that is porn addiction. Um, you know, because the thing is, you know, addiction is it's not a pleasant experience. You know, no one wants to be addicted. No one's like, oh yeah, I, I really want to get addicted to this thing. I mean, obviously, you know, used metaphorically and you know, sort of using a hyperbole for like a video game. It's like, yeah, I really want to get into it. Um, but yeah, addiction is not pleasant. And, you know, inherently, we don't want to be in unpleasant situations. We don't want to be suffering. So that's, you know, a primary motivator for people why they want to recover. Um, you know, because, you know, going through the guilt and, you know, often the lying, lying to your partner or, you know, significant others about, um, you know, your habits and you just, you know, the feeling, the shame as well that comes with it. You know, people don't want that. They want to... Um, you know, feel they want to feel empowered. They want to feel confident. They want to feel happy. Uh, and you can be those things once you recover, uh, or even you know during the process of recovery, you're slowly getting there and you're slowly understanding um, how these things relate to you. Um, you know, not just like personal suffering, uh, but you know the suffering that it causes other people as well. That's a big motivator. Uh, so you know, it's like uh, yeah, like I was saying, you know, lying to people and um, even in relationships, like you know how after you sort of relapse and you just don't feel yourself, like you even get a bit jittery. You don't, you're not as social. You're kind, you kind of shut down almost. Um, you know, avoiding that. That's uh, obviously um, you know not great for other people. It's not great for yourself as well. Um, yeah, it's really not great. Um, and uh, of course, you know, there's also the other side of why people want to recover and it's not just stopping the suffering. Um, but you know, it's about focusing on, you know, becoming something better. You know, you don't have to suffer in order to want something better. You know, you can self-improve because you want to be a better person. Um, you know, there's this common misconception that, you know, you have to hit rock bottom, uh, in order to, you know, bounce back. But truth is you don't have to hit rock bottom to want to improve. You know, you can improve because, you know, you, you enjoy improving uh, and then you want to improve more. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the reasons, you know, being able to pursue ambition without fear or worry. Um, yeah, and how I kind of look at it is that there is no reason not to recover. Uh, you know, just like there's no reason to relapse, there's no reason to want to self-improve. Like, obviously, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to self-improve. Like, self-improvement is a good thing. Uh, it's, you know, growth is good. You know, no one wants, I mean, if that was, the, you know, no one's like, hey, I really want to die. I mean, obviously, people are suicidal, but like, it's not, it's not, um, actually, yeah, it's a bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean? It's like, people don't want to be addicted. People don't want to be, you know, for example, poor or, you know, suffer. Like, it, people don't want those things. People want to grow. Um, so, you know, that's, uh, you know, part of what life is. Life is growth. Uh, life is not death. Death is the opposite to life. Um, so, yeah, up to, it's up to you at the end of the day why, uh, you know, why you want to recover. Um, but, you know, that, that, there's some things to think about in terms of, like, you know, um, what your recovery means to you uh, and why it's important. So hopefully that spiel, that spiel helped. Uh, of course, let's get the sexy goat. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, he's got a heart on as well. It's like a little pink, little pink lipstick penis protruding out of the goat. All right. That was uh, disturbing. Uh, which brings us to uh, the uh, v uh, 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 viewer mail. The viewer mail. The viewer mail. The viewer mail. Today's viewer mail comes from Bulbul. Uh, and they say, this is a proper one, by the way. This is someone actually set this in. This wasn't, you know, the Reed making it up. Like, he, I mean, obviously, I, I would never make them up, but uh, 
Yeah, this is a proper one. Uh, Bulbul says, would you rather stick your dick uh, in a black hole or a neutron star? Whoa, this is like a special... Let's like build this one up. Black hole or neutron? I don't know. I accidentally pressed that falling sound effect there. Uh, but yeah, it's... what do 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 um, would you rather stick your uh, dick in a black hole or a neutron star? Well, you know, this is a rather technical question, uh, but, you know, I am a man of science, so I'm also committed to this skit. Uh, you know, like, I reckon, like, I'm committed to the skit maybe 60% of the time. The other time, it's kind of like, oh, I just got like, to, like, say jokes and stuff, and, like, I'm not really into it, but I'm, I'm committed. I'm committed. I'm totally into this one. Thank you, Bulbul. Uh, rather technical question, uh, but here's the lowdown, buddy. Uh, my penis is actually so big and so dense that it technically is a black hole, math- mathematically speaking. That's right. Yeah, the kids love a black hole penis, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's huge. Uh, and I can confirm this. Women who have attempted to go down on me have literally never come back. Um, it's also because I largely murder them. Uh, and, you know, who wants to pay for hookers? Paying for hookers? I don't have that kind of money. You know, it's like you kind of use the body and then, you know, throw it away. That's the, that's the Australian way. Um, so basically, if you were to stick a black hole into another black hole, uh, it'd be absolute chaos. Uh, it's kind of like crossing swords at a urinal. Um, that was a good joke. Coffee. That's the wrong button. That's a good joke. No. Yes, that was a good joke. You know, crossing swords at the urinal. That's a good analogy. You know, people can relate to it. Uh, you just don't do it. You just don't do it. It's weird. Uh, so, whereas, whereas, my friend, Bubble, uh, if I were to stick my penis into a neutron star, I imagine that would be uh, pretty sexy, because, you know, my black hole penis would gobble it up, you know, it's kind of like a sexual fetish thing, kind of like smoking fetish, you know, watching a girl smoke, mmm, sexy, um, I don't know how that's related, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to log in, lock in B, Eddie, uh, so I'm gonna go for the neutron star, of course, if you don't live in Australia, that reference made no sense, Eddie Maguire, of course, uh, Mr. Melbourne. Um, everyone hates Eddie. He's the he owns the foot the Collingwood Football Club. You know, no one likes Colling. I mean, I'm a Collingwood supporter. There you go. There's an intricate fact that uh, I will never be lived down. Uh, so yeah, um, basically, you wonder why we have no sponsors on the show. Well, it's because we've got questions like this. But quick, keep sending them in. Uh, what's it called? Uh, <laughs> the email. Let's, let's just play the outro and then I'll do it. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, neverfabdelux at gmail.com. Send in a viewer mail. Uh, and, you know, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, Reddit. You know, we just hit 2,000 members, more than 2,000 members recently. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, check out the website, neverfabdelux.com. Have fun. Have fun. Be safe. Be safe. <laughs>